Hi, my name is Chelsea Thurlow, and I'm a mom and a wife and a former patient from St. Paul's Hospital. Two years ago, on October 21st, 2010, my life forever changed. Five months after giving birth to my beautiful daughter, I fell ill to a virus called myocarditis. The virus caused an infection of Chelsea's heart that began to shut down her organs. After two weeks of feeling ill, Chelsea went to her local hospital, where she went into cardiac arrest. After receiving 100 minutes of CPR, she was brought to St. Paul's Hospital. Now being supported by machines and medications, everyone was hoping that my own heart would heal on its own, but it became apparent that this was not going to happen. In a last effort to save Chelsea's life, the team at the Provincial Heart Centre at St. Paul's spent more than 10 hours implanting a left ventricular assist device, or artificial heart pump, in the 23-year-old. I awoke to find 11 days of my life had gone by and still a week before I could grasp the miracle that took place. I'd be lying if I said this was easy as I remember waking up, seeing the many staples closing my chest, incisions on my legs, and too weak to walk. Weighing in at 73 pounds and almost no muscle mass, I had much to overcome yet but finally my stubbornness was about to pay off. Although it was originally thought she would spend a year at St. Paul's to recover, Chelsea was able to leave after just a month. By the time I was able to walk myself out of St. Paul's front doors, there stood a beautiful monumentary of the Lights of Hope. Symbolizing so much to me and my family, every year I drive by, grateful for the extraordinary efforts made by a team that refused to give up on me. Chelsea defied the odds again when her heart recovered fully after four and a half months and she was able to get the artificial heart pump removed. I'll probably never run a marathon, but to be here today with no neurological damage and to have all my limbs and loving my daughter with all my heart, I truly could not ask for more. There is not enough stars that symbolize the amount of gratefulness and gratitude I and my family have. I thank St. Paul's Hospital from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Oh, you're Chelsea you Thurlow is just one of the patients yeah, supported by the Lights of Hope. Thank you.